Hi, welcome back to Classic Car Living, I'm Rob. So usually I highlight somebody else's car or go to the car shows and show you guys all the different cars that they're at. But today I wanna to highlight one of my two Mustangs, my 1970 Sport Roof. It looks like a Mach 1, but it's really not a Mach 1 by then. So I'm gonna take you through it, explain to you a little bit about what I've done to the car and give you a ride. Hopefully you guys enjoy. See you there. Let's go, Mustang. All right, let's go. Nothing like the sound of the purr of this Mustang. So here's a quick little story on my 1970 sports roof. I was searching offer up about two years ago and I found this in Tampa, Florida, and I was able to get an amazing deal for this car in this condition. Now, the car's a little dirty, haven't washed it, I gotta be honest with you, but I haven't had time. But then, the price was so good that I had to come up with the stole it. Because if you knew how much I paid, you wouldn't believe it. First things first, let's open it up and check out the hood. Open this thing up. We're gonna go over here. Gonna open it up. First of all, look how cool that looks, all right? And then, we're gonna open the hood. This is a 351, 351 Cleveland. I haven't really done anything to the engine. The only thing that I've done is I've added some air conditioning. So in Miami, it's super hot here almost all year round. So if you don't have air conditioning, you're never gonna drive. Uh, one of the problems that I've seen is radiator. It's starting to get this type of corrosion. So uh, luckily one of our club members actually just gave me uh, a brand new radiator that I'm gonna be installing. So this is it, 351, shaker hood. When I got the car, I brought it over to a mechanic who does classic cars, specialized in classic car, which is Jay's Mechanic. And he was able to check it out and he told me that everything was good. This is a little problem here that it's a crack, but you know what, I haven't even gotten to it. It doesn't really bother me. The color of the block isn't the correct color. But again, it's not a big deal. Uh, eventually I'll get to it. I try to enjoy this car so much that I don't have time. So that's the engine compartment. Here's the front clip. I was thinking of purchasing one of these covers that make it really nice and clean. Again, guys, my car is super dirty right now, but I just wanted to show you what the engine compartment looks like. One little thing that I, uh, that I I did as an upgrade at nighttime for car shows is I added this little light, LED light. So I put a little switch over here and it lightens up the engine compartment at night. Stance on this car is really, really nice, but can't go over any speed bumps. And that's what happened to me a couple weeks ago. I got some Rev wheels with Goodyear tires. These are super nice rims. I think they uh, match the car really well. And then we got staggered 225, 60, 15s. Not big. And I believe I have 235s on the back. So there's the paint job. It's a custom paint job that the previous owner had done. And it's in really good condition beside it being dirty. Let's take a look at the back tires. And what do we got here? These are the rev tires also. So you can see. And now we've got 255s, 60 15s with the Goodyear radial TAs, which I love. Look at that stance. I will show you how low it is to the ground though with the long tube headers. So we're under the car. There is the space that I have. And let me show you. This is the problem. All right, so now we're at the back of the car. Check this out. I just love it. In order for the gas cap to open, got to push up and it comes down. And you got your gas. You got the honeycomb grill. 
dual exhaust, reverse lights, and the, the tri-lights for the 1970. You got the wing in the back for some uh, aerodynamics, but it just looks nice. So this, this is my Instagram page, in case you guys like Instagram for shorter versions. There's your door. I gotta tell you, this car has been amazing to me. It's run really well. Like I said, it's dirty, but it's really nice. Let's see the stick shift. We got a Hurst shifter, four speed. I did add the radio, which will turn on so you can see. And then the AC, which is classic auto, they come up with their gauges, which match what the original car looks like. So it looks great, you know? You can really uh, fool people. And then you got the clock, the seats, not bad condition. No tears. Let's look inside, see what mess I have in here. Well, look at here. This is cards that we made for my Mustang Club, South Florida Classic Mustangs. And uh, I have cards here in case that anybody wants to go to Facebook or Instagram and follow them. Let's see, the vents on the AC were also from the Classic Auto which kind of match, let's see, this, this thing was a little twisted, so let's see. And then uh, in order to, I've got stuff in the back here, but in order to get the seats, you gotta push down, push down, and then go forward. There's my fire extinguisher, let's see what this is. This is from, probably from my, yep, one of my previous car shows uh, last week. All right, so check out the back seat. Seat belts look really nice. I think original, but you guys tell me if you think they're original or not. It has the flip down back seat, which you just gotta turn this here on both sides. And I'll do that now with, put the camera down real quick and flip it down so you guys can see. I hit those two things on each side and here is the flip down and then here is the other flip down all right this side is a little bit worn out a buddy of mine gave me the six by nine speakers to add in the back so i really never have the seats down but it's not bad and if you guys only knew how much i paid for this car as you see it so i'll leave it down for now it's a little dirty and a little worn out, but I was thinking to dye them, make them nice and black again. So you have your regular retractable seat belts, which are here. So you can do that. And then right here with this little thing, you can connect the one up here and then make it like a lap and across your body. So we got the steering wheel with the horn let's see right, let's go for a ride Hopefully you guys enjoyed my 1970 sports roof. Next time we'll take a spin in the 65 Mustang convertible. If you guys enjoyed this kind of video, please subscribe, tell your friends, share, like, comment. Let me know what you guys think about my car. I appreciate your support. Until next time.